Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my tutorial about network installation of Windows XP. Uh, there are many questions on forums like I have a laptop computer or something that doesn't have CD-ROM and cannot boot from USB and how can I install Windows on it? Other possibilities are just like in my case, uh, me and my RAM mates are uh, all on university on computer science faculty and have access to DreamSpark. Everyone has identical CD images, uh, we have only different se serial numbers, so it's nice to keep everything on one server that all of us can access without looking for CDs and so on. And Windows has support for so-called uh, remote installation services, but it's a part of Windows Server system and it has a few disadvantages, like everything's made as a disk image, uh, so one image uh, may not boot on an another system. Uh, here comes an attend, an open source project to deploy Windows from any server. So using Linux, BSD or anything is no problem. And it uses Windows setup program directly. So uh, this should work on almost any computer. And uh, just like on this tutorial, we will do this on uh, Debian Linux based server. It's Debian stable. Install it just by downloading a netboot image and uh, hitting about, uh, I don't know, 30 times uh, next. And of course, uh, setting uh, passwords for root and uh, normal user. And uh, this is exactly when where this tutorial starts. So what we need uh, at the beginning is to install a Samba server and uh, then DNS mask you server. Uh, the first one is uh, providing uh, files, uh, it's uh, network drives and so on. And the second one is uh, to allow us to bot from a network. And uh, after installing uh, this, we need to that the user to log in remotely. Uh, this user uh, in this uh, tutorial will have directory usr slash windows and uh, will be named anti install uh, after we add this user we need to set up a password for it the first one uh, can, the first command is to set a local password and the second to set the remote password i'm suggesting to the, do the um, the same after uh, setting uh, those passwords we need to uh, edit the samba config file it's located in etc samba smb.conf i had this file previously and it's a very basic file if you don't have uh, didn't have samba before you uh, just like to copy this of course uh, with a correct our group and server name it's netbio's name uh, and uh, correct path if you uh, have another. After that, save this and restart Samba. And try to open this as a, a regular network drive. I check an IP here. It's uh, .0.151. And uh, let me open Explorer. Oh, here, exactly. And it's opening without problem. And now, with the in this directory. Uh, we need to go to the uh, unattended web page and download two things. Uh, they are uh, the new the newest uh, version of unattended. Download uh, here, yeah. And uh, they are those two files uh, without anything and with Linux bot as a suffix and I have them uh, downloaded before on hard disk so let me just open them uh, first this without Linux in name uh, we need to copy install dir from this package to our install dir but uh, you see this uh, dir with our concept no, uh, con content content not uh, <laughs> not just files in it and after that, we need to open uh, the second file, this one with Linux. And do the same, but with PXE directory. So Linux bot and, he, you know, sorry, TFTP bot. 
and exactly this copy just to this uh, our install and I forgot about one thing here so I did the video a bit cause there is another uh, oh yeah just, uh, just uh, first edit Samba now it will point directly to install directory and restart it and it will change automatic here and now uh, once again from uh, this uh, Linux uh, package we need to copy their content of install directory this time content not just directory with everything because they are files needed for uh, by uh, this uh, small Linux system will boot using PXE to start the computer. They are a bunch of small files, so it will do uh, for a while. So let me skip it. And now we need to adjust and then DNS mask you. Uh, this is uh, the DHCP server but it can act as proxy so that's exactly why i use this in this tutorial uh, because uh, i have a router that is uh, doing uh, whole dhcp thing uh, but uh, i can't do that on router because it's running some other software uh, so uh, just copy this file and uh, adjust uh, an ip range to match your uh, on. Of course, uh, this must be range that is not used. And try to boot something after restart of DNS mask you. As you can see, I'm using VirtualBox and uh, LAN boot. And it's booting. I'm not pressing any key here. So it should boot uh, from uh, hard disk. Just uh, in case uh, somebody left the LAN boot as the default option. Uh, so it will boot the uh, computer as usual. Uh, let me reset it once again from LAN. And this time I pressed uh, F8 and you can see it booted into some menu with an attend option. But uh, as for now, I shut down this because I've, uh, we have uh, one uh, thing more to do. Yeah. We need to copy the Windows image. So we're going back uh, once again to our install directory on network, to OS. And uh, here is some read readme. You just uh, must make some folder. Uh, but uh, there is a mistake I will correct it later, because it can have only eight uh, letters in name. And into this folder, just copy uh, i386 folder from installation media. Just simple. It will do for a while because I have a slow network here. So uh, let's again skip this part. And that's all. This should already work. You can see. Oh, yeah. Here, here I am uh, renaming it to match the pro uh, proper, to make it uh, land proper. And now just try to start your machine once again. Boot from LAN as last time. Boot from network, select uh, this option and let it boot. Quite fast forward here because <laughs> it's taking a few seconds. And uh, you will need to overwrite this and use IP because you most probably don't have own DNS server. So just try by this by IP. Uh, as a uh, username, you type the user that we created before and your password for it. Uh, now just select uh, partitioning scheme. So, so I use hard disk C because it's easy to adjust this after installation. Uh, agree for everything. Uh, use this uh, nt5x install script here uh, write the cdk but remember to check it twice because it will accept anything you write just like here i'm putting about 25x's 
and uh, this will uh, the Windows install program will ask you for the key once again if it's wrong. Yeah. Then uh, you you will just uh, f use first options for base uh, and uh, let it go as a default options. Because we don't have setup for um, additional applications like uh, installing Office uh, and so on. You can do this this uh, automatic after installation, but uh, this is not the part of tutorial. So now it's installing the system. If I would create more directories with more CD images, uh, the last part would be to uh, the last. So sorry, be, before uh, entering CDK, uh, I would be asked for which one I like to install. And you you can see here a Windows, the German Windows installation <laughs> program. It's an OM Windows license I have from some laptop. Just a bit fast forward, cut, cause it's a bit boring to see this. So, so, some, somewhere you will see for about, about one second that it asked me for a proper CDK. Yeah, here. And that's all. If you uh, co complete, uh, if you uh, written our fields properly, that that will go to the desktop without any questions. Uh, after the first installation, uh, the first, uh, sorry, boot, uh, the script will ask you to reboot the system. Just uh, click on yes, yeah, or whatever. <laughs> it's called in your language. And let it reboot. And uh, that's all. After reboot, you got a working Windows uh, installed on this computer. Uh, the whole footage was about, uh, we, we found this fast forward and so on, was about 30-40 uh, minutes. We've said, uh, we, without installing Debian on server, because I assume that you already have installed Debian. And this is all. Not so complicated at all, as many of uh, many people think. So thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for my uh, language mistakes. Sorry for my bad English, but I'm just uh, learning it from a few years. And so thank you once again, and uh, maybe see you in next tutorial. I don't know if I make any other.